Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 42, or video 1 in the subsection on the Helmholtz theorem. Specifically, I'm going to show why the gradient of 1 over the separation, the magnitude of the separation vector, excuse me, is equal to minus the separation unit vector divided by the magnitude of the separation vector. The previous videos to this, which are relevant, are numbers 41 and 42, where I discuss the direct delta function. And I'll be using videos 41 and 42 and the next coming videos in order to prove the Helmholtz theorem. So a quick recap, we define the separation unit vector as follows. So we have two points, some one designated by the unprimed variables and one designated by the primed variables. So in order for us to get the magnitude of the separation vector, what we need to do is we need to take the square root of the x components to be squared plus the y components to be squared plus the z components to be squared. And obviously if you want to divide by that, 1 over it will be, we need to invert it like this. So what I'm going to do is take the gradient of the uh, 1 over the magnitude of the separation vector. So let's do that. I'm going to do it first of all in the x direction and usually we're able to infer what the y and z directions will be doing then. So what I want to do is get delta x of 1 over the separation, the magnitude of the separation vector. So that's going to be delta x of the x components to be squared plus the y components to be squared plus the z components to be squared, like this. And of course there's going to be a square root there too. And this is in the i hat unit vector direction. So taking the, der the derivative of this is pretty straightforward. We're going to get minus 1 over x. Then we're going to get the, the separation vector, magnitude of the separation vector to the power of minus 3. We're going to get a factor of 2 here, x minus x prime times 1. And of course, this is in the i hat unit vector direction. All right, that's not 1 over x, that's 1 over 2. So what I can do then is cancel my 2's. And this is the, this leads us to the following. So we have minus x minus x prime divided by the separation, magnitude of separation vector cubed in the i hat direction. So we can easily extend this to the y and z dimensions as follows. So we're going to get minus x minus x prime in the i hat direction minus y minus, uh, minus y minus y prime in the j hat direction and minus z minus z prime in the k hat direction. And we need to divide all of this by the separation, the magnitude of the separation vector cubed. Now note, by the way, that the separation unit vector is defined as follows. So it's the separation vector divided by the magnitude of the separation vector. Okay, so if you look closely, we have this up here. And we have it in the following form. Minus the separation unit, the, the separation vector there's the separation vector there. And on below, uh, down below we have the, its magnitude and its magnitude squared, which is of course minus the separation unit vector divided by the separate magnitude of separation vector squared. And as a result, we can make the final conclusion that if we take the gradient of one over the separation vector, the one over the magnitude of the separation vector we're going to get minus the separation unit vector divided by the magnitude of the separation vector to be squared. And this is a very important identity and we'll be using this in, a, in, in the future, especially to prove the Helmholtz theorem. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also give me a comment in the box below.